Joining me now is Peter Schlow, the CEO of Heritage Mining. Great to see you again. Thanks for having us back, Mark. So you were here a few months ago and the Heritage Mining story is moving forward. You've got uh, drilling permits for your uh, Drayden Black Lake project in Northern Ontario. You've got those three advanced target areas. So can you update us on the story? Yeah, absolutely. We had a fantastic PDAC. It was great to see everybody out there. Um, you know, since we last spoke, we've listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. We uh, received a government grant um, through the Ontario Junior Exploration Program, $200,000. That's cash uh, in the bank to help uh, with our balance sheet. Um, we've also received our permit um, for our 10,000 meter phased approach that we're doing. We're raising on our phase one and we're also live on a raise. Um, and we've, you know, we got that permit um, early and that's a testament to our relationship building capabilities um, as a new issuer um, up in, up in Suluka with the relative uh, communities and First Nation groups. So we're very happy um, to have those relationships. And I think the early approval is a fantastic step forward and showcase of how well we're doing up there. You're raising 1.5 million through uh, units and flow through units. So what are the broad strokes of that arrangement? Yeah, so the hard dollar units are uh, nine cent with a full uh, warrant at 15 cents, um, expiring in three years. Uh, we also have a flow through unit uh, at 10 cents uh, with a full warrant at 15 years as well. Um, books looking really good. We're actually getting some strong interest. So we'll probably be closing off a first tranche, which will be a you know confirmation that people are, are interested. Um, and I think another important point is, you know, our stock prices is holding up. So I think we've uh, priced it well. Um, it's attractive both uh, on the market and, and um, in the private placement. So I think we've done a good job there. You said that you think you're poised for discovery this year at Alcona, New Millennium and uh, Moretti. And can you refresh our, our memories on uh, the geological makeup of those two target, uh, three target areas and also the importance of your proximity to Treasury Metals, which is about 80 kilometers away. Yeah, absolutely. So um, our three advanced target areas, um, Alcona, Moretti and uh, New Millennium um, are hosted in uh, orogenic uh, low gold. Um, the gold uh, systems are, you know, stock works and, and high grade veins on a meter scale um, hosted in different structural forms. So we have um, uh, three, at least three deformation corridors. Uh, so Alcona is one of them. There may be two in, in New Millennium and Moretti is, uh, is another one. But, you know, the Alcona, um, we're looking to drill that off. Alcona and New Millennium have historical drilling at depth to 75 and about 100 meters vertical, respectively. Um, but they haven't, um, you know, just uh, explored from a, in a systematic manner um, across the deformation corridor. They've only focused on the narrow high, high grade veins. So we're excited to go there and um, you know apply our, our methodology and uh, you know find the volume. There is economic grade at surface. We've discovered that, which is fantastic. It puts us at a, at a world class um, exploration uh, project with three deposit potentials. But we need to find the volume. Uh, new Millennium is a is a new discovery. It's never been drilled before. Um, all three of which will need and require additional mapping to further understand. Uh, the geology, um, and then we'll execute on our phased uh, one 3,600 meter drill program. And it's good to remind investors that uh, uh, your uh, properties have been drilled before. You do have that data going back years with the likes of, I guess it was Tech and Plaster and others, right? Yeah, Cameco's in there as well. Um, yeah, no, it's fantastic. So the whole point of why we're here is it was a data exercise first. We've gone through the data, we've selected our targets, we've done early systematic work, check samples, channel samples, and now we're looking to drill off. Two of the areas we're gonna complementary drill um, and you know further those along, and then we have some new discoveries as well. So it's a fantastic data set to work with, and we uh, can't wait to add to it. Now you've said you've only really tapped about and explored about half of your 15,000 hectares. So what are the, the prospects and the plans and the possibilities for the rest of the, the land package and for, uh, for drilling it out? Yeah, um, so we're going to focus on the three target areas right now. That's predominantly uh, most of the raise. So 1.1 million approximately is going towards the, the drill program. Anything over and above that. And there we do have cash in the bank as well to further along additional target developments. Um, but we'll be working up uh, further targets as well. It's, it's a huge property, uh, but we do need to um, progress some of our advanced target areas. 
Circling back to that exploration grant from the Ontario government, what does that uh, stamp of approval mean, do you think? Uh, I think we're just doing what we said we would do. We, we spent, um, it was a lengthy process. They go through and, you know, check all the invoices and, and all that. So, you know, just going through and saying, you know, we'd spend the money here and we spend it correctly in accordance with the, with the grant criteria. Um, it, it's a fantastic uh, program that Ontario has and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get it again. But, you know, our, our, our uh, hat's in the ring, so to speak. So we'll see. But it, 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 helps, the, uh, it helps the balance sheet, you know, cash is king in this business and uh, we we have some of that so on the heritage mining website you compare yourself to peers so what are the main factors that go into uh, you believing that you're undervalued uh, generally and compared to peers and that uh, you're poised for a re-rate at some point especially when you start showing some results yeah so i actually built that comp table myself um, and how what the the criteria to get onto that comp table is you have to be in ontario gold or base metal, you have to be actively um, advancing your property. And that's a criteria to be included. So very simple. Um, why? And then I look at a relative basis based on uh, different quartiles on how we stack up uh, relative to everyone else. And we're basically at the bottom across the board for the most part. Um, key areas are, you know, market cap. It's um, so we're on you know bottom bottom quartile in terms of a market capitalization. We have one of the tightest share structures out there, so we have the lowest share issue uh, shared issued in outstanding, one of the lowest. Um, even after the raise, we're still in the bottom quartile. Um, so we have a low market cap, tight capital structure, so that almost compresses our spring. Um, but on the upside, you know we have uh, one of the biggest land packages in Ontario that we're you know, out to explore. And on top of that, we have over 25 mineral mineral occurrences. So we have three advanced targets, but we also have, you know, almost 100 years worth of exploration data. So I think once the rubber hits the road and we really start advancing, um, that'll definitely give a re-rate to our stock, in my opinion. Um, also, uh, an important point, especially on the uh, exploration side, is uh, your cash balance. So in my opinion, I think uh, companies trade at a premium if they have a good cash balance. I think if you were to dive deeper on our comp table, uh, you'd see that uh, most of the companies have a more heavy flow through uh, cash allocation um, versus hard dollars. And we have you know, almost uh, 900 and at this time, 900 approximately $20,000 of, of hard dollars in the bank. Um, so that gives us the flexibility uh, to allocate that whenever we want. We're not restricted to spending it at a certain time. And we're also raising more money and that seems to be going well. So I think we're very well capitalized um, we're, and we're undervalued across the board, across all those areas. Now, as far as gold itself, it appears to be nicely set up right now from a, a few standpoints. We're seeing some M&A. We saw the Newmont offer for Newcrest, which uh, I believe has been rejected for the time being. But uh, you, you've got long-term interest rates coming down. You've also got the debt ceiling on the horizon in the United States, and you're too young to remember this, I'm sure, but in 2011, uh, when that was going on, the, the, that most recent dispute over the debt ceiling, gold did very well and, and nearly held to 2000 there. So uh, are you starting to see some money come into the juniors? Usually it's uh, seniors, intermediate, and then the juniors, but are you starting to see some, uh, some money coming in now, do you think, to the sector? Uh, I think, uh, well, we'll see how the financing goes. I think uh, that'll be a true testament on whether money's coming into the junior exploration uh, sector. I think we'll do, we'll do just fine. Um, but from a, on a technical standpoint, we, we are getting more volume in, uh, across the comp table, actually. And then we're actually up um, from about 66,000 average volume traded uh, on a 20-day average to, if you just isolate it to, to March, um, you know, we're, we're over 100,000 shares per day. So I think we, there is a bit more activity. Um, I think the um, high quality companies with good management teams will start to really uh, make a move. Um, and we're trying to get, you know, we think that we're one of those companies. So I think we're poised for, for a re-rate and I think the whole sector is. So um, right now, normally, it, it's not a normal, you know, situation right now, but normally, you know, with gold around 2000, this would be a, this is the time where we would see a big outbreak with the junior exploration stories. For some reason, it, it's not. Um, might just be a delay in, in the market, but, um, you know, I think we're, we're about to see some real action and uh, we're right where you want to be from a junior exploration company. Cashed up, a plan, management team that's done it before. So uh, I think the summer is going to be really exciting. All right. Very good, Peter. Thanks for the update and we'll uh, look out for your news flow.
Thanks for having us back, Mark. Okay, Peter Schlow, CEO of Heritage Mining.